of whether shoppers would be spending even more if they didn't have a massive tax hike potentially hanging over their heads. Republican Congressman Phil Gingrey of Georgia supports extending all the Bush tax cuts, and he joins us now. So the, the lack of clarity, Congressman, you think that's holding people back, even though the projections, it has to be said, for this holiday season are actually pretty good. Kyle, I think you're absolutely right. And if Cheryl could have interviewed me this morning, I was out in the mall, Town Center Mall in Cobb County at 7 o'clock this morning, oh, yeah? buying some golf balls and a bathing suit on sale. But believe me, that was the extent of my purchases. So you would have, uh, you know. <laughs> so, but people are, the, the, this point, and it's, I think it's hard to really get at this from people. Good to know, by the way, you're buying golf balls and a bathing suit. We've got, we got that information out of you at the top. But it's hard <laughs> to know from people if they really would spend more if they knew more about taxes. It's easy for them to say that if they're watching the political debate. But you, you really believe that? They'd be out there spending more if there was more clarity. Well, I definitely think so. I mean, this uncertainty, uh, it, it's causing people to hold back. Uh, all these marginal tax rates, uh, Connell, uh, need to remain as they are. We need to extend them all for two years or at least or make them permanent, not to decouple. Uh, and, of course, the corporate tax rate is too high. It needs to be 25 percent. I supported a bill uh, to lower from 35 to 25 percent. Marginal rates, of course, are, are one thing, but the dividend uh, taxation, capital gains, uh, state child tax, tax credit, uh, the estate tax, of course, all of this uncertainty is, is really holding the economy back, and that's probably why we're still at 9.6 percent overall unemployment. Well, it sounded like you some, kind of proposed your own compromise there. You said you'd like to see all the tax cuts extended on a permanent basis, but you'd be open, it sounds like, and other Republicans are saying, hey, let's just do it for two years if it's for the upper income, and, um, and maybe that's how this, uh, how this whole thing gets worked out here over the next few weeks, don't you think? Connolly very well will be. I think that the president has given some signals that he's ready to compromise. Certainly, my leadership in the Republican Party, uh, uh, Speaker-elect John Boehner and majority, uh, Minority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell in the Senate, uh, are willing to compromise. But uh, uh, we know the American people, 80 percent of the American people say that they want the, the, these tax rates, these current tax rates, to remain as they are. It makes absolutely no sense to raise taxes on anybody in the midst of a deep recession. Even it's those in the upper income. What if we were to say, uh, you know, this is a number that it's 250,000 and above for families. What if they raised that and made it a true millionaire's tax? So these 45 millionaires that signed a petition lately said, hey, go ahead, raise my taxes. I can afford it. What if we, if we raised that bracket up to a million dollars or more? Would that, be, uh, would that be all right with you or is it just anybody? Connell, I know that's something that uh, Senator Chuck Schumer, Democratic senator from New York, had, had uh, made a, mm -hmm. a suggestion that we consider that. But uh, I think that the first and foremost, it, we, we need to, to not raise taxes on the people that create the jobs, the job creators in this country, small business men and women, whether they have an, an annual income of 200 or 400 or whatever the number is, I think it would be a mistake to raise taxes on anybody. But compromise is compromise, and uh, we will work very closely with our leadership uh, and with the Democrats and with President Obama because we need to work in a bipartisan way uh, to get out of this recession, to get people back to work. We'll be watching it. Congressman, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks for coming on with us today. Connell, thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Thanks a lot. Fair